so good. <laughs> Hey y'all, this is long overdue, but here's what I did over the holiday break. I hosted a Harry Potter dinner with Crystal and Sylvia, complete with light up wands and Christmas crackers. We had beef wellington, roasted vegetables, mashed potatoes and gravy, and butternut squash soup. I also made three elixirs, unicorn blood, liquid luck, and ormontensia or love potion. Sylvia and Crystal are Leos as Leos come, so I gifted them the ColourPop So Juicy Lip Plumper in Stunton, ColourPop Highlighter in Lunch Money, and Too Faced That's My Jam Eyeshadow Palette. We ended the night with French macarons and creme brulee for dessert. And of course Coco had some creme brulee too, and a belly rub. Break, Crystal and I binge watched the Twilight series. I'd only watched the first two when I was a teenager, and after shit talking it for years, I decided to indulge Crystal and watch it all with her. I have an addictive personality, so immediately afterwards, I started looking at flights to Forks, Washington. A couple of days later, the ladies and I went to Helen, Georgia, a cute little German town, to see the Christmas decorations and explore the area. <music> dinner to Umi, my favorite Japanese restaurant in Atlanta. If it had a guide, it would probably have a Michelin star. We started off with lychee Moscow mules and otro tartare, a fatty tuna with real wasabi, caviar, tamari, and scallion. I would give the lychee Moscow mules a 7 out of 10. It can use more lychee juice and lychee fruit as a garnish, but the otro tartare was a 10 out of 10. Next was the spicy tuna crispy rice garnished with jalapeno slices, 9 out of 10. Then we ordered an assorted sashimi plate of ahi, yellowtail, salmon, Japanese snapper, albacore tuna, uni, or sea urchin, and otoro. The sashimi platter gets a 9.5 out of 10, but the otoro gets its own rating of 10 out of 10. Just look at the marbling of this tuna. Next was the foie gras, which came with slices of crispy rice. Got it melted in my mouth, and I wanted to savor every bite because it was so good. It was definitely my favorite dish that night, 11 out of 10. We were starting to get full at this point, but we still had the eel and cucumber rolls and the wagyu rolls. The eel rolls were nothing to write home to, 7 out of 10, but the wagyu rolls get a 9 out of 10. Lastly for dessert, we had the green tea souffle, good but nothing special, 8 out of 10. Later on in the week, Sylvia, Crystal, and I went to main event for some fruity drinks and junk food. Then we play laser tag because it's the only acceptable way for me to bully kids about weird looks. After laser tag, I faced my fear of heights by going on this obstacle course with Crystal and Sylvia. <laughs> Thank you. 
After New Year's, we got together to watch the Harry Potter reunion, so I made chocolate frogs for the occasion. One batch had pecans, and the other had peanut butter filling. I also made Swedish meatballs with egg noodles and gravy, like in berry sauce, mashed potatoes, and peas. We had a delicious fruitcake that Solar brought over, and then it was time to watch the Harry Potter reunion. I literally started crying right off the bat, and by the end of it, I was full on sobbing. Later on that week, before Crystal had to go back to Memphis, we all stopped by Sam Burger for the best burgers in Atlanta. My favorite's the Saigon Burger and Lotus Chips. Then we went ice skating, which I haven't done since the eighth grade. I've always been more of a rollerblade kind of girl, but I still had a great time and I didn't fall. Afterwards, Crystal and I were craving Froyo since we watched The Good Place, so we stopped by Yogli Mowgli in downtown Swanee. That's what we did over the holiday break, and I miss Crystal already. So how about you guys subscribe to her OnlyFans so she can live in Atlanta permanently? Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!